Hi everyone, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, we will see how to improve an article with proper heading tags. So let's get started. If you are a blogger, you may be familiar with writing a lot of articles. And if you are planning to be a blogger, get ready to write a lot of articles because that is one of the ways in which you can improve your website and get it ranked by the search engines. Anyway, writing an article requires some special skills to make the most out of it. So in this video, we'll take a look at one of the aspects of improving your articles, which is heading. Headings are critical in any article. There can be multiple headings in an article. Headings are written in heading tags in HTML, which if you don't know is a markup language used to create web pages. There are six different heading tags in HTML. The most important being the H1 or the heading one and the least important in the article being the H6 or the heading 6. Although it is mostly believed that headings cannot heavily impact your search engine optimization, following some of the tips I have right here will help you write better articles that are easy for your visitors to read and understand, which in turn will definitely help you make the visitor happy and thus get the website marketed by the visitor himself. So here are some tips regarding headings that are important when you write an article. H1 is the heading which is used for the most important heading of a page. So you should always make sure that your website has a single H1. The best thing to do here is to use the title of the article as the heading one. If it is a page, then use the H1 to display the page title like about us or contact us, etc. Most of the well-designed themes have this already set up. They use article titles as the H1 by default. But if your theme doesn't do this, then you may have to make some changes to the theme or just switch to a better theme. Try to include the focus keyword of the article into the heading one of your article so that it will have a better chance of ranking higher in the search engines. Some bloggers try to write headings which don't help the visitor understand what is going to be in the body text. They try to tease the audience and make them read the whole article in this way. This can be effective and good for some articles but can go wrong in many cases. So if possible, use keywords in headings. This can help you in your SEO as well because even search engines can now understand what your article is all about. Heading also plays a vital role in accessibility. Screen readers can understand HTML and so writing meaningful headings can help in the accessibility. Screen readers also have shortcuts to go through headings one after another and this can help visually impaired to know more about the article and decide on whether they need to read the article or not. Headings should be basically thought of like this. H1 or the heading 1 is the name of a book. H2 would be the chapters of the book and S3 would be the sections inside the chapters and so on. Though HTML has six different types of headings, it doesn't mean that you should use all of them. In fact, try to limit your headings to two or three types. The heading one should be the title of the article as we have discussed earlier and then the sections of the article can start with a heading two. If you need to have a subsection, then use the S3. You don't most probably need to use the H4, H5 and H6. The more heading types you have, the more easy it is for the visitor to get confused. With that being said, if you absolutely want to create a comprehensive article explaining everything in detail about the subject, then sure, go ahead and use all the headings you need. Headings can help you immensely in creating a great structure for your article. Better heading structure can actually help you write better articles because if you first try and decide what are the headings that you are going to be using in your article, you'll be able to write your article in a concise manner focusing just on the main topic. It will also help the visitor understand the topic better and he will get to know the overall message or information that you are providing in your article. Alright, let's take a look at a demo in WordPress. So here I am in the dashboard of one of my WordPress websites 
and I'll go to post and click on add new and here I have the latest Gutenberg editor in WordPress so this is the area for the title and uh, this will be used as the S1 in our web page so here we will add the title of the article and here we can start writing our article so let's go to lipsum.com and uh, we will generate some lorem ipsum text and I'll just copy this uh, paragraph from here and uh, I will paste it right here I think it's a bit too long so I will just cut it short over here alright so this is our paragraph and if you want to add a heading then uh, all you have to do is click on this plus button over here and uh, then you will have heading and uh, here we can see we can choose from heading 2, 3 and 4 so let's choose heading 2 and uh, we will uh, write say introduction and then here we can write some uh, text so I'll just copy this from here and we'll paste it over here now we'll add another heading which is the H2 so select the heading over here and uh, here we will type say features and in features we will have subheadings so we will add a heading over here and uh, we'll click on H3 and then here we'll type feature number 1 and then we'll just copy the paragraph over here and then we'll create another H3 so we'll click on add block and click on heading we'll select the S3 and we'll type feature number 2 and we'll add the paragraph and we'll just add one more feature so we'll click on add block heading s3 and we'll type feature number 3 and uh, we'll paste in this paragraph all right so now we'll create another h2 for the conclusion and we'll paste the paragraph over here so this is the structure of our headings and by the way if you want to have h5 and h6 headings then you can go to the right over here and select one of these all right now let's click on preview and see how it looks so this is our article and uh, here is the h1 here is the h2 here is an h2 and here are the h3s and here is another s2 so this is how our article looks now if you want to see the HTML of this article then all you have to do is go to this uh, options button over here and then click on code editor and uh, here you can see this is the title and then here is the h2 so this is the HTML tag for heading 2 and if you go down here we can see the s3 here is another S3 and in this way you can see the HTML of your article. So let's just click on exit code editor and in the Gutenberg editor you have this button called content structure. So if I click on that you can get the basic information about your article but the main thing over here is the document outline. So here we can clearly see the heading structure of our article and this will give you a basic understanding of how your article is set up. And you can also see the heading text over here and if I click on any of these you'll be redirected to that heading and uh, you can make changes over here. Alright that's basically it for this video. If you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and click on the like button if you found this useful and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.